Good day to all. In this video tutorial, I'm going to explain, explain very quickly how to control a three-phase motor. Three-phase motor are very used in the industry. Uh, how do we control them? Okay. So this will be a quick video in motor control. What we need, what we usually need use in, in order to control a three-phase motor is what we call the control circuit. A control circuit is this part of the system that with a lower voltage we will control a higher voltage. So we have low, uh, low voltage on this side, low voltage and we have high voltage on this side, right? Or a higher voltage. How do we do this? Well, we need a transformer. This, by using a transformer, which will be connected at uh, two of the lines of the three-phase motor, we will step down. We need a step-down transformer, right? Uh, let's say this motor, this line, three line, has a 480 volt. Let's say that we will control a three-phase motor that will be running at 480 volts. AC, sorry, 480 volts AC, 60 hertz. Uh, don't get stuck with those values. Uh, 60 hertz. And in Europe, they use, for example, 50 hertz. Um, there are different specification for motors, some motor run at 480, it depends on country, region, specs, uh, don't get stuck with those values, you change from country to country, region to region, okay? So, I will go now over each component of this system, right? As I, as I previously mentioned, we will need a transformer to step down voltage, we will need a single pole switch, uh, we will need a normally close uh, contact uh, from the overload and the coil. Now I will go back to this part again. Now in the line we will need a three phase switch which will be open and closing the three lines at the same time. We will need a, a, a fuse in each of the lines just for overcurrent protection just in an event of a short or something like that. But we have three contacts normally open to each of the lines. These three contacts belong to a three-phase contactor or motor starter, okay? You have to understand what a contactor is, what a relay is, what a motor starter is in order to understand this part, in order to understand this video. We have several videos in the HGL Tech Electric channel where we explain what is a contactor. In this case, remember we use three-phase contactor which will have three contacts normally open and we have a coil. The coil will be in the control circuit and the contact will be in the lines. We will have an overload in each line just for overload protection and as I previously was mentioned we will have an overload normally close contact just in case there is an overload event this contact will open to stop power going flowing through the coil. I'm going to explain that right now. Let's say how the system works, okay? Let's say we close this three-phase switch. Remember three-phase switch, it closes the three lines at the same time and power go through each of the line. Power go through, but the motor remain off. Why the motor remain off? Because these three contacts are open. We need a power pass through the motor in order for the motor to turn on. How do we achieve that? Okay. We need to close this switch, single pole switch, in the control circuit. By closing this switch, power go through the control circuit, power flow through the overload, energizes the coil. You know that when we energize a coil, there is a magnetism and the contact that belong to that coil in the contactor closes, changes states, right? They were normally open, now they will close. Now, because they close, power can go through each of the line and reach the motor, and the motor will start, okay? We open this switch, power will stop flowing through the, inner, through the coil, coil will de-energize, and contact, contact will open, and motor will shut off. Okay, 
Hope you understand this so far. There is also something that I want to mention in this video. Um, two wire control, there is a, a disadvantage. Let's say that this motor is connected to a conveyor is, is, is connected to this motor or some equipment that have movement, right? Let's say that in the plant we lost power, something fell. There was a, an event where we lost power and suddenly power came back. Right, so only power came back, the switch was closed and the equipment that is connected to this motor started to move right away, right? So there is a hazard. If some operator is close by or it can there is a hazard, there is a safety issue, there is risk, right? So we don't want this this is what we call two wire control. We don't want two wire control in a place where it can put in risk human life or in a place where there is a hazard in a place where it's controlling equipment that is movement that is moving and that movement can create a safety issue so next video i'm going to explain how to control a motor in a different way in a three wire control but that will be next next video this video was just two wire control and so you have an idea how to control a three-phase motor um, I hope this video helped, um, please if you have any questions, uh, write to the channel, um, keep in touch with the channel, I will, as, I, as I mentioned, uh, I, will, I will do a video in 3 wire control, 3 um, wire control has some advantage. Don't get me wrong, before I finish this video, please, don't get me wrong, 2 wire control is used in industry, uh, it's used in several places but it's used where there is no a safety issue okay you have to understand that okay thank you so much uh, i hope this video helped um see you soon